Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a jigsaw puzzle image in PowerPoint. So let's go through two examples. Uh, the first example is going to be just adding a jigsaw puzzle on top of a image. So maybe we're, for example we have a jigsaw puzzle template or outline here and we have an image here and we want to just have it transposed on top of it. So it's going to look like something like this. And that's one way to create a jigsaw puzzle image. And there's another way to create it and it also adds some animation. So let's go through a example two. So for example, we have a jigsaw puzzle image. Right now it's got colors, but we're going to take out those colors. And we want to have it transposed on a part of this image here. So it's going to look something like this, where we can have this image here. And actually, we only see a part of it. And so this is one part of it where I'll show you later on when I get out of a slideshow view how we can manipulate this. But in addition, we can also do some animation. And this is another slide we can show you where we'll show some animation of the jigsaw puzzles flying in. So this is an example of the flying in jigsaw puzzles over that image. And that was a little bit neat and it adds a little bit of more uh, excitement, I guess, to a PowerPoint show when you've got the jigsaw pieces flying in from the different sides of the PowerPoint. So I had mentioned earlier that with this particular way to do it, we can actually move the jigsaw pieces around and you'll get a different view of the image. Let me go ahead and get out of this uh, slideshow view and go into this particular slide here. And we'll see that this image, we can actually move it around. Remember, this whole image is of this whole tart, but we can actually move this image around and we'll get a different piece of that tart or different image view of that tart. So you can do this, and then what you can do is if you find one that you like, let's for example, we like this one. So what we can do is we can take a copy of this and maybe put it onto another document, maybe a Word document or a web page. So for example, what we need to do is after we kind of move it into place of something where we kind of like, what we're going to do is we, if we want to take a copy of this image and uh, the fruits in the back, we, we can't just select it over here. So what's going to do is just select that template of these puzzles without the um, image in the back. What we need to do is bring out a uh, copy program. And since I'm on Windows, what we can do is use the snipping tool. So with the snipping tool, we can just go under the Microsoft Office ball here. We'll search for the word snip. It'll bring up some results that match the snip keyword. And the one we're looking for is under programs, snipping tool. So here's the snipping tool. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And once that comes up, basically what you need to do is just select new and then select the area that you want to snip. Let me go ahead and uh, actually, let me go ahead and deselect this guy. I have it selected. Let me go ahead and press escape here. So what you need to do is you need to press new. We have the snipping tool here. You make sure that uh, we don't have our image selected. We just have a nice clean background space. I'll go ahead and click new and then I'm going to go ahead and select and I'll go ahead and select it the area where I wanted to snip and go ahead and press copy. So let's put it onto the tool here, but I want to copy it and maybe bring it onto a new portion of the slide deck. And now this is an image uh, by itself with the image. And you see when I've moved it around, the image stays the same. It isn't different when, uh, for example, I did the movement on the other slide. So let's go ahead and show you how we're going to create these puzzle images. And I'll go with example one first, and then I'll do example two. Let's go into a new slide here. So example one was where we had the image of that puzzle template, and we also had uh, the image of something like uh, nature. I think there was flowers earlier, and we just put it one on top of the other. So to get that puzzle image, you can actually go out on the web and just Google uh, jigsaw puzzle image, and you want to make sure you get a transparent image. Basically, we have the lines that show up, but anything in that white space, anything that's below it will bleed through. Like if, it, if I move that jigsaw puzzle over here, the gray would bleed through. If it's over here, the white would bleed through. So you want a transparent image. And you can actually kind of create that in PowerPoint. There's actually a puzzle image here that we can get. So all I need to do is go under Insert and go under Clip Art. And you see I, I've searched for it earlier and you just need to type search for puzzle. And the one puzzle that we have here, and you can try to see if you can find it here. If your particular version doesn't have it, you'll have to go out on the internet and try to search for one. But for, so my version of PowerPoint actually had this as part of the, the library of clip art. So I'm going to go ahead and just add it. And right now, we have this here. Now I've mentioned before when I move this over, you'll see the white come through, right? Let me go ahead and just close this now. You'll see the, the white 
uh, still stay there, I mean, you don't have that gray coming through. That's because it's not a transparent image. There's no transparency in it. Let me go ahead and move it back. So what we want to do is we want to try to uh, transform this image and give it some transparency. We also want to get rid of this part here. So this was something that was there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And the way that we can do that is we can just put something on top of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to Insert. I'm going to go ahead and click Shapes. And just click this shape here, this square shape here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cover it right now. I'm going to kind of cover it as much as I can. And I can't really see too much of it, um, the detail. So I'm going to go ahead and magnify this and increase the magnification of it. Now I want to do is I want to make this all white. I want to make the border colors white. I want to make the fill white. So with this selected, go under Format, go under the Shape Fill, and you select White. Also go under the Shape Outline, which is the outline here that it shows up now. I'm going to go ahead and click that as white too. So now we see it's kind of covered most of it, but it's also covered some of the border lines here. So all I'm going to do is maybe resize it a little bit, and then maybe use my arrow keys to fine tune the movement to cover up uh, the other things that are here. Let me go ahead and do the left arrow and then the right arrow. Let me go and click outside and see if it got most of it. So I'm still missing this piece. Let me go ahead and left arrow it on the keyboard, and maybe move this out a little bit more to the right and then maybe move this using the arrow keys move this out a little bit and you can see it's it's a little bit manipulation we have to kind of move it a little bit more maybe move it up with the arrow keys on the keyboard maybe move it a little bit more to the left and now it pretty much got it so i didn't i'm not covering up the edges here so that's perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, fit this light to the current window click on that and now we've got everything set here Ooh, this little looks like it uh, didn't cover it let me go ahead and take a look at it again Let's see. No, it looks like it covered it here. So let me go ahead and uh, zoom back out and go ahead and select this whole image. Let me go ahead and just draw outside and select this whole image and then Control X to cut. And then what I'm going to do is paste it back in, but I'm not going to paste it back in as, as is. I'm going to paste it back in as a picture. So that whole thing becomes a picture, not those two separate pieces where it's a jigsaw picture and then that little square. So I'm going to go and paste and going to paste picture. So you see now that it's kind of gone. Uh, let's see, that still kind of shows up there. I don't know why. Let me go ahead and scroll down and take a look. Well, it seemed like it didn't cover that part. Let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. Yes, maybe that didn't work out too well. I can just put another image, another box in here. So I'll go ahead and put another box here and go ahead and just make that box uh, the shape, shape fill white and the outline shape white. I'm just going to go ahead and take that and use the arrow keys and kind of move it down so it covers it right now. Click outside, you see now it's gone. Let me go ahead and go ahead and zoom back out. Let's do the same thing. We'll select everything, control X to cut, and then paste as a picture. And now that one should be gone. So now that's gone. Now we've gotten rid of that little, uh, those text there. What we want to do is want to make this transparent. So whatever it goes on top of it, whatever's behind it bleeds through. You see, if I move it over here, the gray doesn't bleed through. Let's go ahead and control Z to undo that movement. So to do this, to make it a little bit transparent, what we can do is go under format and go under color and then go under set transparent color. And we're going to select the white. So we're going to select that. Now, nothing seems like it's changed, but it should have. Let me go ahead and move this over here. And you can see now it's done most of it. I mean, there's some fuzzy edges around here, but this is going to suffice for what we can do. I mean, PowerPoint is not a, a real illustration or graphics type of software program, but it pretty much does the job here. So this is going to suffice for what we need to do. I'm going to go ahead and resize it to make it a little bit smaller. And let me go ahead and bring it over here. Make it a little bit smaller. And so what I need to do now is I'm going to bring that image in, in from the previous light. Let me go up to the previous light here, find the image here, and then select that Control C to copy. Let me go back down to my slide down here, and then I'm going to go press Control V to paste. Now I've got this image here, and what I can do is I can make this is this is on top right now. So if you think of a layer of pieces of paper, this is on top of this piece of paper when you think about it, or this layer. So we want to bring this layer to the back. Let me go and right click that and I'll send it to the back. So now I sent it to the back, I can actually kind of go ahead and adjust my images. Now maybe I'll make maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. So I can just bring this in here. So we have guides that are available when you are moving images around. So you can see like if I move it around, you see those dotted lines on the top. Let me go ahead and kind of move it into place. You can see that dotted line on the top 
uh, going horizontally and also vertically. So it's right there on uh, the edge there. Let me go ahead and snap into place there. Now I'm just going to take the lower image part of the image and bring it down here. Let's see. That's the corner, so it's going to adjust the, the aspect. So what I do want to do now is I want to bring this middle one down. And right now I can go ahead and see that it's actually kind of giving me this jigsaw puzzle image. Let me go ahead and increase the size a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So this kind of gives us a pseudo jigsaw puzzle image. So really it's, it's not the best because unfortunately uh, PowerPoint does not have a great graphics manipulation a feature to it, but it kind of does the job if you wanted to do a, a type of a pseudo jigsaw puzzle image. So this might work out if you wanted to kind of go ahead and, and give it an artistic view. Uh, if you kind of go ahead and select it and maybe go into format and we kind of want to give some different colors. You know, you can see that, you know, if we change the color a little bit uh, or change kind of the, the aspects of it, you can see it maybe gives it a little bit more artistic view and also it may hide those kind of fuzzy edges around there. So it depends what you want to do. If you wanted to get some cleaner images, you'll kind of have to try to find a jigsaw puzzle image that's already a transparent image that uh, lets you that you're able to download and kind of just superimpose on your image so that's the example one let's go to example two and go ahead and go and click insert new slide down here and for example two basically we're gonna take some images out of the clip art gallery again so I'll go to insert and I'm gonna go ahead and click clip art and I'm gonna go ahead and look I search for puzzle and there's this one specific puzzle image that you should have in the Microsoft PowerPoint that you can use. And it's the, it looks like this one, but this is a PNG file. You see, look at the bottom, it says PNG. That's not the one we want. We want the one that says Windows Media File, a WMF. And let me see, let me go and look for it. This is the PNG file. It doesn't seem to be there. Let's go ahead and just try to look for it again. Let's go Puzzle. And the one we want to look for is we want to look for the illustrations. Oh, that's probably why it was under photographs. You want to select illustrations. So once you select illustrations, you're going to have this interlocking puzzle peach, which is a Windows meta file, the WMF, that's what it stands for. And basically, once you insert it, you'll notice, let me go ahead and I've inserted it. Let me go ahead and close this out and reduce the style, zoom back out. You'll notice that this is actually a grouped image. So there's there's four different images here that are grouped together. So that's what I want. So if I go ahead and select and select this and go ungroup, you'll notice that I can move my images out now. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that and still stay with the group there. So what you want to do is you want to make these colors transparent to the background. And so we're going to move that off to the side right now. So in this particular example, what we're going to do is there actually, there's actually going to be three objects on here. One is this grouped picture. One is a solid rectangle of white color, and the third thing is going to be the picture. You're going to have to have the picture saved somewhere in your directory and then bring it in as the background. So what I want to do is when I go under right, I'll, write, I'll just go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, go under Format Background. I'm going to go ahead and select Picture and Text Fill. So once I select that checkbox, I'm going to go ahead and select from a file. So I've saved an image onto a folder, so I'm going to find that particular image. So here's the image that I saved in the pictures library. I'm going to select that, double click it, and it's going to put the image in the background here. Now you see it there. Go ahead and click close. And what we want to do here is we don't we want to have the image as the bottom most part of the layer of this 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 particular slide. Let me go ahead and move this off a little bit so I can do the work a little bit more and reduce the size here. So what I want to do now is I want to have a rectangle shape that's white color to cover it now. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to home, actually back in insert go into shapes and select this rectangle shape. Go ahead and draw it out now. I'm going to draw it out. All right. And I don't want a border to this. I'm going to go ahead, once it's selected, go under format, go ahead and click on the shape outline, uh, no outline, and then for the shape fill, it's going to be a white color. So now it's kind of covered on top of it. And I want to bring this over here, but you can see that it's kind of on the, it's kind of being covered by this white rectangle shape. That's because it's in the middle. So this this white is the first layer shape, this is the second, and the tart image is the third. Well, in, in essence, it's the third, it's the background. So we want to bring this to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and right click that and go under bring to front. So it's now, it's, now it's in the front. I'm going to go ahead and move it into the center here. Now, what we can do is we can select each of these individual ones and then go ahead and fill in or replace this color with something else. Uh, the, as I mentioned before, these are individual shapes that are grouped together. So what I can do is I can right click on one of the shapes, go into Format Shape, 
And under the fill, I'm going to select slide background fills because the background is what we will have of those tarts. So I'm going to select that, click close, and you notice now notice that it is that background. I can do the same thing with the rest of these. I can just right click it, go under format shape, go under uh, slide background and click close, or I can press the F4 key, which just repeats the last command. So I select that shape, press F4, select that shape, and press F4. And as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and move this around and get different parts of the image that you like. So this is kind of moved around. And then you can take a snapshot of this particular portion of this puzzle image and put it onto another document. Now there's also the animation part. And so for the animation part, what you need to do is you need to ungroup these. So you can right click and go under ungroup here. And what you need to do is individually select each of these and select and create a uh, animation for each of them. So let's go to the first one here. Go, this one is going to come up from the left. So I'll go ahead and select animations here and go and fly in. And it's flying from the bottom here, but I want to have it fly in from the corner, from the top left. So that's going to be that one. The next one here is going to fly in from the right corner. So this is going to be this top right here. And this last, this third one's going to be flying in from there. So I'm going to go ahead and click fly in, go ahead and click animate, oops, go ahead and click option effects. And this is going to come from the bottom right. And this one is going to come from the bottom left. So click fly in and change the effect options and click from the bottom left. So now you notice that if I click on preview here, you're going to have them flying in. And one thing we need to change is uh, if I put this into slideshow view, you'll, you'll notice that I have to click each time. This is default setting. I have to click each time for it to fly in. So if you wanted to have it default fly in after the first click, when this one comes in, you're going to have to change some of the timing. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of that. So what you need to do is go into here. And the first one is start on click. The second one, it's going to be after. The third one is going to be after. And then the fourth one will be after previous again. So if I go ahead and run the slideshow and just press click for the first one, you'll see it comes in the second, third, and fourth. And go ahead and press escape. So that is how you would create the jigsaw puzzle effects. We had the first example where we superimpose a jigsaw template on top of an image. The second one is where we have these uh, this vector type image of these four pieces of uh, four pieces, and we're kind of transposing it or layering it on top of a white space, and then the background image and giving it a little bit of an animation effect. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.